today I'll be showing you how to make this to, this polyhedra to learn 3D math. First, we'll need a pair of scissors, straw, beads, and wire. In order to make the polyhedra, you will need to make 12 pentagons. And the way you make a pentagon is by taking the wire about this length, taking the the longer wire, taking the longer wire, and then cutting it to about the length. And then you are going to take the wire, you're going to put a bead through it, and then on the other side, put a straw through it until you have four straw, five straws on it since a pentagon has five edges. Now at the very end, you don't need another bead or a vertice because you share this bead or vertice with this side. So now you're going to tie it up or we're just make a knot in it so that it stays there. Also, you need to kind of make it tight. And then we're going to continue making these and share the straw, the edges or straws and the beads or vertices with each other until we get this. Now that I have made this look similar to this, I will, from this one single pentagon, I will now make another pentagon right here. And how to do that is by taking your wire, the very end of it, putting one straw or edge that it's representing on. Since it is, it already has one vertice, you don't need a, or bead, you don't need to put another bead or vertice on. So I'm just putting a straw on. And then we're going to put a vertice on our bead from the very end. Like that. And since we only have four edges so far, we need a fifth. So we're going to put another straw on or edge right there. Like that, and then we're gonna put it together. Then we're gonna tie it pretty tight and without another bead because we have one vertice right there or bead. So now we're gonna tie it really tight, like. two times around so that
it should look like this. Now that you have made this pentagon, you will make a pentagon here, 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 and here. Now that you have finished making the pentahedral, you can now cut off the extra wire. Now you have your pentahedra made. Now as you can see, you don't you didn't need to make a top for this pentahedra because you made all of these. And then once you made the last penta once you made the last pentagon, it just connected itself to all the rest of the pentagons. And so now this is how you make a pentahedra. Also, as you can see, one vertice or bead shares three edges and three pentagons. One edge shares its shares its edge with both two pentagons. That's why we need this model to learn three D using beads for the vertices, straws for the edges, and wire to connect the pentagons to make a pentahedra. Here you have the pentahedra.